I'd like to draw a bar graph of the gender variable. So first I need a frequency table and then a graph based on that. Now Excel calls these um, a pivot table for the frequency table and the graph based on that is a pivot chart. Um, I can do both in one go by going straight to the pivot chart menu here. So I select that. It's picked up the entire sample, which is fine, and defaulted to setting, um, putting the table for me in a new worksheet. That's also fine. So click OK here. So um, this is where we need to work. So gender is the variable I want to analyze. So I'm going to pull that down into the axis, the category labels, and also do the same thing um, into this field here. So some values, it's defaulted to count in case it doesn't. Um, if we click the drop down there and then value field settings, we can see a, a bunch of choices. So what we're doing is just counting the number of instances of each of the category. So okay there. Um, while we're looking at that, it's actually done the work for us. So we've got these three genders and it's gone through the sample and counted up how many instances of each. Suppose I don't like the order in which it's put these. So here it looks like it's um, defaulted to alphabetical order. Suppose I want the women first. You can select that row and then hover. You can see as we move around, the cursor changes and it's this. Um, this we want, so left button click and then drag it up to the top and you can see that it's moved those bars around. It hasn't done a great job um, with labels and what have you, so I can add or remove elements to the chart by clicking on this plus, so I do that. And I do want some axis titles uh, and I don't think I need the legend here. So I'm going to get rid of that. So now uh, access title. So I get rid of that and put frequency. And down here, uh, those are the genders. And let's do something a bit nicer in, in the um, title. So this is a bar graph of the gender of 51 students and we're done not quite publication quality but pretty good <laughs>